this class first I will solve uh, one example problem to show you how I will design the anchor, I will fix the anchor position and then I will determine the anchor force and depth of the sheet pile, anchor sheet pile in granular soil. Okay. So, uh, I will take the same problem that I have taken during the um, uh, solution of cantilever sheet pile in granular soil. So, that the same problem I am taking here. Okay. The, the problem that was chosen that this is the sheet pile, this is the dredge level, this is the ground surface and um, there was a uh, water table is 4 meter below the ground level, this is ground level, this is dredge level and this dredge level, this is 7 meter. Okay. So, this is the water table and unit weight was given 19 kilo Newton per meter cube above the water table and phi value was 36 degree and below the water table unit weight was given 9 kilo Newton per meter cube and phi value was same 36 degree okay. and below the uh, uh, dredge level also unit weight was 9 kilo Newton per meter cube and phi value is 3060. So, that was the problem, the same problem that uh, I took during the solution of cantilever sheet pile. But now here I am um, placing on anchor. Okay? So, this is the anchor and this is say 1 meter Initially, I am solving this problem placing the anchor 1 meter below the ground level. So, later on I will show, uh, I will fix the actual position of the anchor. So, but now I am solving it 1 meter below the ground level. So, this distance is 6 meter, okay, because this is a total, uh, sorry, this one is 3 meter, uh, it is not 7 meter this problem was uh, this is 3 meter okay 4 meter plus 3 meter this total was 7 meter the h was h value is 7 meter okay now the small h value is 6 meter here this is the small h value and this is the d that we will solve this is the d and again, uh, if I draw the uh, pressure distribution, then you will see that up to this water table, this is the pressure and that value was 19 into and your K A value is 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi that is 1 minus sin 36 degree, 1 plus sin 36 degree that is equal to 0.26 okay? and K P was 1 by K A. So, that is 1 by 0.26 that is equal to 3.85. Fine. So, that was done. So, that means here that uh, K A value uh, this stress was 19 into unit weight is, uh, gamma is 19 height is 4 into 0.26. So, that is uh, this value was coming out to be 19.76 kilo Newton per meter square. Okay? Then it will continue like this then here the distribution will be something like this because this is the anchor sheet pile and then here one f will act okay so this is the a dash and the pa value is the total 
portion, this portion is P A and if you look at your previous problem, then the P A value was coming out to be 120.44 kilo Newton per meter. Okay? The P A value is 124 kilo Newton per meter, A dash was 0 0.83 meter. Just uh, you see the previous problem that I, I have solved for cantilever sheet pile in granular soil. So, I, I am using the same data. So, that is why the P A value of 120.44 kilo Newton per meter A dash is 0 0.83. Okay? And the y bar, initially the y bar was from this, uh, this point in case of cantilever, now your y bar is from here. Okay? So, this is y 1 bar and you have a PP which is from here is y 2 bar and you know that y 2 bar is been replaced. Okay? So, this is P P. Now, this value is gamma, you will use the, I will use the gamma dash because this is the y capital Y and capital Y is below water table. So, gamma dash K P minus K A into capital Y, this is the value. So, now here Y dash will be, this is total one is 6 meter plus A dash. So, initially when I solve the cantilever problem, my uh, y dash from this portion, if you look at this problem, so I determine that my this value from this point to this one P A was 3.05 meter, okay? 3.05 meter. So, now this case my y bar will be that the from here this is 6 meter plus 0.83 minus 3.05. So, now the y 1 this y 1 bar will be 6 meter plus the a dash is 0.83 minus this 3.05 meter. So, this is equal to 3.78 meter and the small h is 6 meter. Okay. So, I have determined the y bar P, P A distance from this point in the previous problem, you can directly calculate or determine the y bar y 1 bar from this point also okay? by taking the lever arm with respect uh, from the rod level. Okay? You can determine directly the y 1 bar, but I am here doing in the other way as, that as I have already determined this position of P A from this point. So, this is the so, these things I am getting the previous example, this one I am getting previous example, this one I am getting previous example, this one also I am getting previous example. So, you see, you see the previous example and uh, then you will find the how these values are coming, okay? so because I am using the same problem. So, this is H is 6. So, now that I have the final expression that capital uh, Y 3 then 9, because if you look at the final expression, so this is the final expression, okay? capital Y 3 gamma K P minus K by 3, this is the final expression, that expression I am putting these values. Okay? Into here I am using the gamma dash because capital Y is below the ground level. Then this is your um, the same expression, I am writing the same expression, the gamma dash K P minus K A divided by 3 plus capital Y square. Again, I will take gamma dash K P minus K A divided by 2 into H plus A dash, then minus P A Y 1 bar is 0. Okay? So, now, capital Y 3 cube into 9, K P A is 3.85, K A is 0 
divided by 3 plus capital Y square gamma is 9, KP is 3.85, 0.26 divided by 2, H is 6, uh, yeah, H is 6, A dash is 0 0.83, then minus P A is 120.44, Y1 bar is, um, Y1 bar is 3.78. So, that is equal to 0. Okay. Now, finally, you solve this expression. The final form that I am getting is 10.77 uh, capital Y cube plus 110.34 capital Y square minus 455.26 is equal to 0. Okay. So, after solving this, you can solve it to calculator also, or you can solve it to trial and error also. I am getting y is equal to 1.86 meter. So, your d is y plus a bar. So, this is 1.86 plus a bar is 0.83 and that is 2.69 and then d provided is equal to 2.69, I am giving 30 percent extra 1.3 that is around 3.5 meter. Okay. So, you can see that in case of the same problem, if I use the cantilever sheet pile wall, then the required or the provided depth was 9.5 meter, but here the provided depth is 3.5 meter. So, it is reduce by significant amount if I provide the anchorage. Okay. So, that means the same problem so for the anchor sheet pile, sheet pile, the D provided is 3.5 meter for the same problem cantilever sheet pile D provided was 9.5 meters. So, okay. so, you can see there is a significant amount of reduction of the required depth of sheet pile if I provide the anchorage. So, now the we have provided a depth of 3.5 meter. Now, I will calculate the anchor design part. Okay. So, the anchor design part my F or anchor force is P A minus P P. Okay. Now, P A you know that P A is 120.44 kilo Newton per meter and P P, P P the expression was given. So, what was the P P expression? The P P expression was this is the P P expression. This is half gamma K P minus K A y square. Okay. So, here the gamma will be the 9 because y is below water table. So, half gamma dash k p minus k a into capital Y square. So, half into 9 into 3.85 minus 0.26 and capital Y is 1.86. Okay. Capital Y we are getting 1.86 that is the capital Y. So, 1.86 or so this value is your 56 kilo Newton per meter. So, your P P is 56 kilo Newton per meter. So, your F will be 120.44 minus 56, this is 64.44 kilo Newton per meter. Okay. So, this is 64.4 kilo Newton per meter. So, now, I will design the anchor position. So, I, I have provided the anchor depth is 3.5 meter, I have a h is 7 meter. Okay. So, as I mentioned this is the this is the ground surface or ground level and this will be the 45 degree, this value is 45 degree plus 5 by 2. So, this is 
45 degree plus 5 is 36 degree divided by 2. So, this is 63 degree. So, this height total height is 10.5 meter. So, this is the total height is this total one is 10.5 meter this total one. Okay. And this angle is 63 degree means this angle is 27 degree okay, 90 minus 63. So, I know this height, I know this angle. So, I can determine this distance. So, this distance is coming out to be 5.4 meter. Okay. So, how will get the this distance? This one divided by this one is tan 40. So, this is tan 27. So, this one will be 10.5 into tan 27 degree. Okay. So, that is equal to 5.4 meter. So, now I draw a perpendicular line here. So, this is your 90 degree. Now, let us uh, start the determine the HE because I have to fix the uh, anchor from the sheet pile because this is the sheet pile. So, let us let us determine the HE value first. Okay. So, if I case the continuous case, if I consider the continuous case, continuous case my HE value is equal to 2.67 into f into the factor of safety divided by k p minus k a into gamma. Okay. So, this is the your expression for the continuous case 2.67 into f into factor of safety divided by k p minus k into gamma and so that is the case. So, now if I put the value 2.67 f value is f is 64.44 and factor of safety I am taking 1.5. So, I am taking 1.5 as a factor of safety again k p is 3.85 minus 0.26 and here I will take the unit weight as 19 because this portion is above the ground. Uh, water table because the water table is 4 meter below the ground surface and this region I have considered 1 meter but so that means it is above the water table. So, this value is coming out to be around 1.95. So, I am providing 2 meter. Okay. So, H e value is 2 meter. So, H e is uh, here suppose this is the 2 meter. 2 meter. So, this is the position of the HE say. Okay. So, this is say position of the HE. As I mentioned the HE value and H should be above this line. So, I am placing the H is here. So, this is the HE and, and this equation is derived considering B is equal to HE by 2. So, H is 2 meter. So, this is your B. So, this will be B is equal to H e by 2. So, that means this will be 1 meter. So, this is 1 meter. So, that means this one is also 1 meter. So, now if I place this rod at the center. Okay. So, that means the rod position will be 1 plus half of that. So, 1 divided by 2. So, this distance is 1.5 meter. Okay. So, this distance is the, the rod distance is will be 1.5 meter, but during my analysis I consider this is 1 meter. Now, again you check it whether if now actual position is 1.5 meter below the uh, ground level. Okay. So, now check it whether that um, uh, this position if I change the 1.5 instead of 1 
it will change or not. So, where will be the changes if I change this one? So, the changes will be, so I am if I use the different color, the changes will be that your this is initially this is h value will change no? small is initially is 6 meter now the h will be if i take this one your h will be equal to this will be 5.5 meter no? so this h will be 5.5 meter and another change will be y1 bar so y1 bar will be now here this will be y1 bar will be 3.28. So, this will be two changes only. Okay, other things will remain same because only change will be your h will be now instead of uh, 6 meter it will be 5.5 okay. and now y bar 1 will be 3.28. Now, if I put these values here in, in this equation because a, a dash k p gamma k all will remain same. So, if I uh, change these things, the, if I put these values in this equation, now your next trial y value will come out to be instead of 1.86, it is coming 1.8 meter. So, the d provided will come, uh, okay. so 1.8, but here I have provided 1.8. 86 which is which is greater than 1.8 actual now after revision your required y is 1.8 meter but i have provided 1.86 meter so i have provided extra length so that that means we are in i am in the safe side okay so that's why after uh, in the actual position your anchor position will be in the 1.5 meter below the ground level but if I revise this analysis, I am in the safe side. So, there will be no need to change this uh, design. So, but one thing is uh, remain that, that, that this portion, this position you have to calculate. Because again, how I will calculate that, that if this is 27, this is 90, this angle will be again 27 degree. Okay? So, now I know this is 2 meter. Okay? this is 2 meter, this is 27 degree, this height is 2 meter, uh, this is 2 meter, yeah, this is 2 meter, this is 27 degrees. so I can I, uh, determine the distance. So, this distance is, this is 4 meter. So, the total one, your position of the anchor from the sheet pile will be 5.4 plus 4 9.4 meter. Okay, so, final recommendation your anchor length will be this is anchor rod will be at 1.5 meter from the ground level and position of this anchor should be 9.4 meter from the sheet pile and your B value is 1 meter and H E is 2 meter. Okay, this is the final recommendation. So, and again, uh, if I show that how I am getting this uh, HE, H is I am getting this is 7 minus 1.5, this is 5.5 and Y bar I am getting this is 5.5, then 0.83 minus 3.05, okay, Y bar and so this is uh, Y is 1.8 meter, so D D mm, required will be in that case is 2.63 meter and D provided will be 3.42 meter D uh, which is greater than 3.5 meter. So, my analysis or design is fine. So, the final design recommendation that D is 3.5 meter B this is the anchor design is 1 meter, HE anchor design is 2 meter and the position of anchor from seat pile is equal to 9.4 meter. Okay? 
an anchor rod from the sheet pile this is the horizontally and vertically the position of anchor rod is 1.5 meter below gl okay so this is the final recommendation so now i've solved the same problem with and without anchor and you have noticed that if i use the anchor our required depth has significantly reduced but again you have to design this anchor also okay so now the next uh, thing that i will start is that your anchor sheet pile in cohesive soil okay so next one the anchor sheet pile in cohesive soil okay so this is the last part in the anchor so again uh, i will discuss about the free earth method this is the dredge line this is the ground level okay and this is the anchor position or f and it will rotate with this this is free earth method so this is active and this is passive okay so now uh, the problem i consider that this portion is granular soil and this portion is cohesive soil so that means here cu is equal to 0 here phi u equal to 0 okay so the earth pressure distribution diagram will be again for the granular soil it will like this okay so and here if this is h then this value will be gamma into ka into h and that you can write this is pae pae is equal to gamma k a into h okay so uh, again i can write that your pp is equal to q bar k a k p plus 2 cu root k p and p a is equal to gamma bar k a minus 2 cu root k a okay now if phi 0 phi phi u is 0 then kp will be ka will be 1 okay and again q bar is the effective overburden pressure now at point e if this is the e point this is the again b point this is the a point at point e e your q bar is gamma dash into h depending upon the water table condition okay now if suppose if there is a water table here suppose this is h1 this is h2 so you, you should, this is gamma this is gamma dash okay so in that case your q bar will be h1 gamma plus h2 gamma dash gamma dash is nothing but gamma minus gamma w okay so if the both the gamma above the water table and the saturated are same so this is the q bar so now i can write that this is the uh, pe and a granular soil this is the q bar now if your so this is i can write that this is pae so at the pressure the left hand side of the right hand side of the uh, point e
point E. That means right hand side of the point E, your Q bar is equal to gamma dash or gamma dash into H depending upon the water table position. And I can write uh, here that is your Q bar is H 1 gamma plus H 2 gamma dash. Okay. So, I can write that the this is the right hand side of the uh, E. So, here I can write that my P A E is equal to your Q dash into K A. Okay. So, Q bar into K and for the left hand side of the left side of point E, your P P E that will be equal to your Q is equal to 0 here because passive pressure your Q is 0 then plus 2 C U. Okay, so, this will be 2 C U. So, the net pressure at point E will be equal to P P E minus P A E. So, this is equal to your minus Q bar into K A. Okay? if it is granular soil where C u is equal to 0. So, and I can write this is the value. And here, so that means here this will shift from this side to here. So, this is the net pressure diagram. Now, it is the it will shift this side and again I have shown that for any distance below the Z, it will not change. And here, this side is again passive. So, it will continue up to here. So, this is the diagram. Now, if that you have a soil like this, that uh, this is the total phi soil, then your diagram will be like this. Okay? Uh, this is for the this is also your phi u is equal to 0, here also phi u is equal to 0. In this case, your the, here your this value will be because this is granular soil, this is cohesive soil. In this case, this will be your here also k is equal to 0, here also k, k is equal to 1, here also k is equal to 1 here also k p is equal to 1. So, it will be 4 C u minus q bar, because here another C u term will come here instead of it is gamma. So, this means here it will be q bar into k a. So, here it will be q bar minus 2 C u. Okay, and Q bar is equal to gamma into H. Now, here the net pressure in this case the net pressure will be net pressure at point E in the second case, this case okay, will be your P P E will be 2 C U minus Q bar minus 2 C u. So, this will be 2 C u C u 4 C u minus Q bar. So, this is the two cases. This is the case 2, case 1. In the case 1, the above the dredge level soil is granular, below the dredge level is cohesive, but in the case 2, both the soils are cohesive. Okay. So, this is the net pressure distribution diagram. So, now, uh, how I will calculate the forces? 
So, here the what are the forces? The same one if I consider this one. So, this will be your P A and there will be an anchor force F and there will be an active uh, passive force P P. P P A is only the positive portion and F. So, now finally, if I draw the diagram, so you can consider the any diagram. So, here I am considering the second one. So, this is the diagram. So, this is my P A, this is F, this is P P. Okay? And P A is only the positive one. So, now if I take and this is the D, now your P P will be equal to 4 C U minus Q bar into the D that is the rectangle this is 4 C u minus q bar okay. and this one is P p you will get from this diagram. So, finally, if I take the moment at the anchor position or moment at O is 0, then I can write if this is y 1 bar and this is y 2 bar. So, I can write that P A into y 1 bar will be P P into y 2 bar. So, y 2 bar is nothing but that this is the small h, this is capital H and this portion is capital H minus small h. Okay? This is the ground surface. So, small h is from the anchor rod to the dredge level. So, y 2 bar will be small h plus this one is d by 2. Okay? So, this will be d by 2. So, I can write finally that P A into y 1 bar is equal to 4 C u minus q bar into d into h plus t by 2. So, final expression will be d square plus 2 d h minus 2 p a y 1 bar divided by 4 c u minus q bar that is equal to 0, where here q bar is gamma dash into h. Okay. Now, if it is granular soil and sea soil, then you have to use this diagram, but I have used this one. So, you can use this one also. So, here also you determine D, then increase it by 22, 30 or 40 percent. Okay. So, that will be that this D you have to provided. So, this is the uh, expression of D for the cantilever sheet uh, anchor sheet pile in cohesive soil. Now, once you get the D now from this expression that you will get the your uh, anchor force. So, yeah uh, anchor force expression is not given. Okay. So, finally, the anchor force expression similar to the granular soil F plus P P minus P A is equal to 0. So, your F is equal to P A minus P P. Okay. So, this is the expression once you get the D you put this value here you will get the P P you can get determine the P A also you will get the F. Once you get the F, then again as the same way you have to design the anchor for cohesive soil. Okay? You consider the active one side, passive another side and you know in that case your diagram will be different, but you use the same concept to determine the or to design the anchor. Okay? Anchor dimension, position of the anchor in terms of horizontal as well as the vertical okay? and determine the B value or the width of the anchor. So, with this I am finishing this sheet pile part. In the next class, I will start the brace excavation and then I will 
start the next topic that is the underground conduit. Thank you.